Welcome back to my shop. I recently acquired some grills from some tractors from the 40s or 50s. I love the way these things looked, so I picked them up as well as a bunch of other stuff, which will be future projects. But I really wanted to do something with these sooner rather than later. I will do a minimum of cleaning up on these. I'll just make sure any metal is secure and then I'll clear coat them and I'm going to build a table around them. Two different tables. The tables will be bar height, which is 42 inches, and I'm going to need that height because these grills are about 30 inches tall and about 12 inches deep. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, let's go to the whiteboard. I'm going to use one by two metal. Um, I will put leveling feet on it. I put leveling feet on everything because I hate a wobbly table. So the the Grill will be suspended here by pieces of one by two going across and I'll just do some sort of brackets. The table will have like a live edge to it. I'm not sure about the back. Maybe it'll be a partial live edge, but I think I'll make that straight and it'll be flush with the back foot. I'll probably put some sort of support here for the, the wood top, but I think we have enough information here that I can just start cutting metal. So I have a bunch of pieces here for my next project. They're clean, but they have mill scale on them still. So I've got to clean that off before I weld them up. These little ones are just kind of hard to grind with the wire wheel. And these big ones here, it just seems like the mill scale is really thick on those. And it just seems like the wire wheel just polishes them. So I'm going to soak them in vinegar overnight. It'll take the mill scale off. It's a great little trick. It takes a while to do but don't do it inside your shop. Otherwise you'll come back the next morning and every piece of equipment you have will be rusty. I'm going to throw a little baking soda on it and then just fill it with water. Another project here. This is a, a fender from a 1940s Dodge truck. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's probably gonna end up being maybe another bar height table. If you're enjoying this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button or hit the like button. Thanks for watching. I mean, it's amazing how the vinegar takes off the mill scale. Yeah, especially these big pieces. And I'm not even sure where I'm going to weld onto this just yet. So soaking it in vinegar overnight to get rid of, you know, 99% of that mill scale is great. I will still take a wire wheel and really clean the area before I weld it. I think we'll start welding tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to do the feet first. The feet consist of a little cap. And then a thicker piece that's threaded on the bottom for a leveling foot. I'm using the TIG torch because I don't want to use the MIG because it adds too much material and, and I don't want to do a lot of grinding at the end. So let's get started. That's the first one tacked up. I've got two different thicknesses of material here. The bottom one uh, with the thread in it is a little thicker because I wanted more meat there for the thread. 
and then the top cap part uh, is the same 14 gauge as the square tubing. And when you're welding them with the TIG torch, uh, you have to kind of bias the arc on the thicker piece to get it to melt because it'll melt slower than the thinner piece. And then when you're doing the thinner piece, you have the arc going right down the middle. So this is gonna be the bottom. The leveling feet are going to go in here. I think I'd rather have it flush at the top. So I've got everything against my bench. I've got them lined up, just eyeballed. Bases, not the bases, but the bottom of the bases are all welded up. So that's going to go like that. I've got my upright piece right there. And then I'll have a support, little brace there. So I just need to figure out where I'm going to weld this as far as on here. The red grill is about 11 inches in depth and the blue one's 13 and this is 18 inches. So I can, I just want to keep it on this side so it doesn't protrude because I think the top will also be about 18 inches. I still haven't figured out what to do about the top. I was thinking about doing a live edge I don't want it to distract from the grills. So I think I might do something just one inch thick. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that would put this pretty much in the center. That's how we'll do it. All right. But that'll be tomorrow. All righty. Uh, Last night we decided, me and you, uh, that two inches was going to be good here. My part to fasten the top was going to be flush with that edge. I'm just going to mark, make sure that's two inches. I'm going to mark it there. Mark it where my brace goes. Up here too. I've got to transfer these marks over to the other pieces, clean them up, and weld them up. I'm back. So I clamped all my pieces together, transferred my marks, and then I just used the grinder to do them all at the same time while they were clamped together. Made it a lot easier. So now I'm at the point where I, I do need to mark the inside and the outside of each of the pieces because on this cold rolled steel, there is a seam and I want to hide that. Even when I get them powder coated, you'll be able to see uh, that seam. So I want to hide it. So I need to go or I need to mark everything inside, outside. Maybe I could just remember to do it. Let's try that. 
there's a bit of a science in the order that you tack something together. Because when you do tack it and weld it, it will pull the metal in that direction. So if I was to weld this outside corner here, it would pull the top end out. So I'm trying to decide the best way to do this. And I think maybe tack the inside, do the outside, maybe then put the little brace in, tack that together, and hopefully that'll keep it from pulling it out of square when I do the outsides. So let's hope for the best. Now that this part's tacked onto here and the brace is keeping them square, I should be able to weld everything and then do the inside and outside and it shouldn't really pull it very much. Next one clamped up. I got all the seams on the right side. Or the same side. satisfying when you're done welding and it doesn't start wobbling around. Okay, I got my top plate in place using magnets, squares. Because this is a monstrosity. Yeah, let's do let's find another way to do this. Let me know if it starts falling towards my head. <laughs> oh, that is, there we go. That's done. Okay. Let's see if the second time's any easier. I've got to cut some stuff off the back of the blue one to make it sit flush. But I think I'm going to bring in the legs a bit. So two foot on the outside diameter or outside measurement. I'll make the tops three feet long instead of four feet long. I'll have the lights on that one. They'll stick out outside the uprights. That'll look good. But I think we're done for today.
Morning. I need to get rid of this stuff on the blue grill so that it sounds like blue gill, but not the fish. Um, yeah, I need to get rid of this stuff sticking out. So, of course, it's very rusty. I'm going to try and get it off with tools uh, before I get the grinder. I think I'm going to end up with the grinder. But I'm going to do that while I'm also cutting the, the cross pieces. by two cut cleaned up the ends um, I made some tabs because there's these holes here at the top of the grill and they'd be perfect so I made these uh, just an angle bracket with a clearance hole in there for a 5 16 carriage bolt so this will be the cross piece and then I will weld my angle bracket, two of them, onto that. The, the bolt will go through. And that will support it. That will support the top. And then I had a piece of material here and Quite conveniently, it had a hole in the top and the bottom already. And I think it'll be long enough that I cut it in half that I will do my other support or cross piece. I'm going to have to drill a hole in the side of the grill and that'll come off of it. I'm not sure how long this will be though. So I need to get this one in place and then just kind of get this one mocked up. So. Uh, so the first thing I have to do is drill some holes here, and then I think we'll go back over to the welding bench and see if we can get it mocked up. I think what I'll do is put a cross piece here, and that's going to have the angle brackets on it, and I'll just raise it up a little bit, because putting it here just might be kind of awkward. Okay, I've got my two squares keeping these square. I got a 22 inch piece here at the front, 22 inch piece up here, so that should be pretty square. Now I just need to tack this in. Okay, those are tacked in place. What 
what a stunning sunrise that was. I ran down here and got my GoPro going. And then I came into the shop. Uh, I made a couple of tabs for the back cross piece that goes a, holds the bottom of the cowling out the proper distance. I've got a clamp here with a bit of wire. Just going to a piece inside, just holding everything in place. So I'm gonna put the bolts through and see if I can get them tacked into place. All I have to do now is pull the grill off and weld in the tabs, get everything permanently attached and get it powder coated. Clean it up and get it powder coated. Uh, but I'm trying to get out a video every week and so I'm gonna have to end this video now so I can get it out on Friday. Uh, but I have a question for you. I've put a piece of wood up here on the top. I think this would look really good if it was lit up. But I have a bit of an aversion to putting cords on stuff because it kind of limits where you can put it. So they do make rechargeable LEDs, but they only last for about four or five hours. So my question for you, and if you could put the comment down below, is if you were to see this and see a cord, uh, would that be uh, a cord? Or you don't mind? Or do you think rechargeable is the way to go? So if you could put in the comments down below, uh, rechargeable or corded or something to that effect, I would really appreciate it. It will kind of direct the direction that this goes. But I think maybe just a rechargeable light LED up here just to highlight this or put nothing at all. But this uh, top, I think I'm going to make it out of uh, chestnut. Uh, it's been sitting in the shop here for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I made a little piece for a uh, bit of shop furniture and it looks really nice. So I think I'll do a one inch top and maybe roll over the edge so it will hide uh, any LEDs I put up here. But I think it might look nice highlighting this. Let me know what you think. Um, thanks for watching.